Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing Ethos water from Starbucks and electrolyte enhanced water from the Fresh Market. And we're going to start off by doing another pH test. Here's the dropper and two drops. And just mix it up a little bit. Mix it up a little bit. And this is the chart. What color do you guys think it is? All right, so this is round three of the water comparison series, and whichever one of these two tastes the best is going to move on to round four. The Ethos water was created by Peter Thumb and then sold to Starbucks. It tastes pretty good. It's like, um, it's a still water and tastes pretty good lately I've been doing so many like sparkling waters and flavored waters it's nice having two just standard still waters this electrolyte enhanced water is from the fresh market and it's a good one um, you might have noticed it was already pretty empty it's because I saved the same bottle from round two because I only bought two of these originally and so if this wins I'm gonna have to go back to the fresh market to buy more of these bottles for future rounds if this one wins um, this one has a super like generic name I brought this up before but it's just called electrolyte enhanced water like there's no like you know special branding to it like, it would be funny to see a bottle that just said, just the word water on it. <laughs> like, you can't get much more generic than that. Um, this one has calcium, potassium, magnesium, and other electrolytes added to it. Which are sort of like salts. But a cool thing about this water is on the nutritional information, it still says 0% sodium. Like... Normally, if they add sodium, sometimes it will say 5% or, or, you know, some other percentage of sodium, which I think is bad because then it's like salt water, sort of. Like, it's like ocean water. Um, here we go. Propel is a water I was just thinking of, which adds electrolytes, but it has a super salty taste to it, and that's bad. This this adds electrolytes, but not a ton, so this, this one still has, like, a good taste. Or maybe, maybe it's not the amount, maybe they just add the right kinds of electrolytes. I don't really know, but um, I just know this one tastes good. water is from Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, it's not really a place, like when I think of Greensboro, North Carolina, I don't really think of them having great water, but it is a good tasting one. Let's try the Ethos water again. It's kind of um, a similar, very similar taste to my tap water. I think tap waters have different tastes than and this is sort of like mine. Yeah, I think the further into these reviews I go, um, the easier waters are having, like, getting into the future rounds because I've been doing so many, like, flavored waters and um, sparkling waters. Even this one. This one was up against a sparkling water in the first round. So this one kind of made it into round two d by default. I think when I originally started the water reviews, I did so many like 
I did so many good, really good waters at the beginning. Um, and I think they had a harder time. Like, I think when I started off the water reviews, there were actually some really good waters that were eliminated in round one. And that has not been happening recently. You can see my my order from Starbucks. So has the sticker on it. The Ethos water is cool that it gives five cents to charity for each bottle sold. And this is a good water, but I am going to just say that the winner, in my personal opinion, is the one from the Fresh Market. Unfortunately, because now I have to go back and buy more of these. This is from a store that's it takes about an hour and a half by bus to get to this store for, for me. Um, I take the bus everywhere, and this is in Mount Lebanon. And I'm going to have to go back there and buy more of these this water. Because this one tastes better. I'm pretty tired. It's, this probably wasn't the best review. It's like 3 in the morning. Um, I don't have much else to say about these. <clears throat> But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.